when you're sick or injured, that's when you really begin to appreciate the skill of working with the breath. You think of the breath energy going through the injured area or the sick area, improving the circulation. And it can also alleviate a lot of the pain, because part of the pain is just the natural part of what's going on in the body, and part of it is our tendency to tense up around places that are sore. And in tensing up, we, we feel like we're shutting the pain off from us. But we're, what we're actually doing is we're cutting off the circulation and allowing things to circulate actually helps the, those parts of the body to heal. So be open to the fact that there was pain there, but you're not going to be afraid of it because you've got your tools, you've got your skills to deal with it. This is a basic principle in the Buddha's teaching. We notice that he talks about pain and suffering right up front. And some people, some people accuse him of being pessimistic, but he's not. He's being very matter-of-fact. He said, this is a problem. It's a problem we all have. We can't deny that, that there is pain, there is suffering. And the reason he's up front about it is because he has a cure. It's the people who don't talk about it. Those, those are the ones that don't have a cure, so they try to avoid it. But here you are. You've got the pain, you've got the injury, you've got the sickness. But you don't have to be afraid of it. You can deal with it. Now, this is not promising an instant cure, but it does speed things up. It makes things a lot easier to deal with in the process. So work with the breath as much as you can around this. See what ways of breathing are helpful. You can breathe right into that spot. We can think of the breath circulating around and around and around that spot. Whatever seems most helpful. But you've got the tools, and that means you don't have to be afraid. As I say in Thailand, it's like the people who know how to deal with snake bite. They're the ones who are not afraid of snakes. It's the same with any doctor who has a cure for a particular disease. Other doctors who don't have the cure don't want to talk about that disease. But it's the ones who have the cure there. They're the ones who are up front. Years back we had a couple visiting us. The, the husband had cancer. and In fact, they'd actually put a bullseye in his cheek where they were going to be giving him radiation therapy. And as he said, the, the doctors kept saying, well, there's a 90 percent chance of recovery, and he immediately went to the 10 percent. What happens if I don't recover? And he said, well, this is what the meditation is for, is to give you tools for when the doctor's tools fail. So even though we know that the body eventually is going to have to die, we can look after it, because after all, it is our vehicle for the practice. And we've got some tools that we can use when the doctor's tools are no longer any help. So make sure that you make use of your skills when you need them in cases like this. Because that's what they're for.